Hi guys, how are you doing? My name is Ben, I'm that bearded guy, and this week I've been playing Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe for the Nintendo Switch. Now you can easily be forgiven for missing the release of this game entirely, as it was overshadowed by more prevalent console game releases, so let's take a look at this one. The original game was released for the Wii U back in 2012, and became one of the console's best-selling titles, but now it's had a refresh, as well as a few additions, for release on the Nintendo Switch. Mario, Luigi, Toad and Nabbit are all playable characters in this Peggy 3 platform action adventure, as well as a new character Toadette making her debut. It's evident a lot of thought has gone into making this game appealing for every member of the family, with gameplay that can be optimised for younger players. Characters Nabbit and Toadette offer easier gameplay and are less prone to skidding, so players wanting more of a challenge can opt to play as Mario, Luigi or Toad. You can also get help with those levels that you get stuck on by watching the tutorial videos or using the super guide option which will demonstrate how to tackle the level or even complete it for you. There are a number of game modes available including story mode which features plenty of side games to gain power-ups as well as a new Super Luigi U. You can also play with up to four other local players but I've yet to try that option as I'm limited by my Joy-Con controller to just two. In addition to the story mode, there are some challenges available which you can play with your Mii. For those that don't know, the Mii is a customizable avatar that you create with your Nintendo Switch. There are a number of challenges available, which include Boost Rush and Coin Battle, to name just a few. Now as good as the game is, I do have some issues with it. Firstly, the game controls simply don't feel as intuitive as the previous Mario games, but I can't quite put my finger on exactly why. Some of the controls in their native form are positioned so you have to hold one button with the pad of your thumb whilst hitting another with the tip. Secondly, the game's main theme is forced upon you repeatedly for much of the game with no option to turn it off. Whilst it is very catchy, it does get a tad annoying after a prolonged period of time and for some reason the enemies even stop to do a jig in time to the beat. Lastly, and probably the biggest issue I have, is that the game doesn't really bring anything new for the Mario franchise. Whilst there's plenty of old favourites in terms of power-ups and suits, there doesn't seem to be anything particularly groundbreaking about this game. Now with all that being said, I have to admit that I did actually quite like the game and found it a lot of fun, but in the name of full disclosure, I did manage to get through the majority of the story mode in just a matter of hours. But if you're one of these players who like to take their time and collect all the items to access bonus levels, then there's substantially more content to work through. I do also like how accessible it is for all types of players, and the multiplayer allows you to play together without feeling like you're being restricted by the other player. So if you're a Mario fan or into platform adventures, then this might be one for you.